Hello and welcome to Biddeford College's Options Process 2024. This is an overview um, from Bruce Butt. I'm Assistant Principal for LEARN, which is the teaching and learning provision at the college as well as our college curriculum. And what I'm going to share with you on this video is an overview of what we've shared with students today in their assembly, outlining the options process and explaining to them the choices that need to be made over the next few weeks. As I suggest, um, this is a really important time for our students in year nine. This is the first opportunity they really have to give shape to their curriculum and to the choices and interests that they have. And of course, you know, our aim is to make sure that we are opening as many doors as we possibly can for their future career routes and ambitions, um, both in sort of post-16 education and, of course, into employment and the world beyond. So all subjects that we offer have a clear progression route into A-level or into level two or three vocational courses or into apprenticeships that are related to the GCSE subject. And so, you know, we're really keen to make sure that when students are making their choices at this point in year nine, that we are mindful of those uh, routes beyond. Our curriculum also fully supports the development of transferable skills. So skills that students will be able to take from their lessons at Biddeford College into the next stage of their education or their employment and to make sure that we are always sort of mindful of that process as well. Um, just to outline what the implications of the options process are for our students in terms of their timetable. Um, year 10, you can see, has nine lessons apiece for the subjects of maths, English and science. Now, these are numbers of lessons across the fortnight. And of course, in year 10, students have um, 25 lessons per week and therefore um, 50 across the fortnight. History or geography um, would then, as an option, take up a further six. French or Spanish, if students would take those, um, would take another six, um, and other option subjects also are allocated six periods per fortnight on the curriculum. Core PE, which is obviously a compulsory subject, takes a further four, and the character curriculum, which we previously referred to as both IAG or PSHE, you might have heard it referred to as, um, we now call it our character curriculum, that is one lesson per fortnight, um, so that's in sort of alternate weeks. Obviously, you can see the numbers are significantly higher for the English Math Science in year 11, and that's because we now have the compulsory period six that's a really important part of our provision that allows us to really make sure that in those lessons, um, students are absolutely covering the entire curriculum, are rehearsing and are well prepared for their exams, and that we have gone over all of the content they might possibly need. So you can see that there are those, um, higher numbers there, um, and it's the period six that we run that allows us to do that. There are two types of qualification that students can opt into in their additional subject choices. One is obviously the familiar GCSE, uh, traditional academic qualifications that have been in place for a long time now. And some of the option subjects obviously are simply within that sort of umbrella title. Additionally, we offer vocational and technical awards, which are high quality qualifications, of course, and are of an equivalent value to GCSE. And these allow students to apply sort of knowledge with perhaps a greater emphasis on practical skills as well. Um, there are fewer of these in number, but these are the other kind of component within the options choice process. And I'm going to finish part one of this presentation just by showing you the sort of suite of subjects that we can offer. Obviously, this is you know, a considerable uh, choice available to our students. And that comes obviously from the college being the size it is. And so what we will ask students where they are able to make choices, they will come from those subjects in front of you here. So you can see there's a really great choice and um, really something that should appeal to every student. So I'm going to bring part one of this presentation to a close and uh, part two you should be able to find right next to this on the school website, continuing from where we've left off here. Okay, speak to you in a second.